Hey my witches, I'm back with your weekly tarot scope um, for the week of October the 31st to November 6th, I believe is the Sunday, November. So I'm using the tarot of the vampires for this and I've pre-shuffled. Uh, so let's start with Aries. So Aries, we have the Lord of Skulls. It was reversed. So this way, Lord of Skulls. So this is saying, Aries, this is a week to really kind of be careful with your money to make sure that you're making some really wise business decisions as far as monetary expenses, to make sure that you're not wasting your money or wasting your resources in any way. And this could resources might be time as well. Uh, make sure that you're not wasting your time on things that aren't going to serve you in the long run. And to make sure too that you're not being talked into buying things that perhaps you may not really want to. For Taurus, we have the Prince of Grails reversed. So, you know. So, Taurus, this week, you might encounter people who are trying to flatter you or trying to convince you of things that deep down you're kind of like, oh, I don't know about that. So, this is really one that says to trust your gut, to really trust your intuition. Um, you know, it's nice to get compliments or to have people pay attention to us, but if it's kind of uh, with reasons that, you know, maybe aren't um, altruistic. It's not really a good idea, right, to uh, listen to those kind of things. So take everything with a grain of salt this week and really trust your intu intuition. It's also saying, too, that you might need to find some time to do some creative things or, or things that kind of fulfill you emotionally um, because you might be getting grain this week. For Gemini, we have the Ten of Scepters reverse. We're getting a lot of reverse this week. Um, so Gemini, this week you really need to ask for help. And I think this is a week where you're really learning to delegate, to ask people for the help that you need, that you don't have to do it all by yourself, um, that you can ask for help. You might have too much on your plate. It's also saying that you're learning to not take on other people's problems as well this week. For Cancer, we have the Six of Scepters. Cancer, it's going to be a wonderful week for you. Success. Um, you know, if there's something you've been working really hard on, you're gonna, it's going to come to a, a very positive conclusion for you. It's just going to be a really wonderful, successful week for you. Um, and generally, we're in one where you're feeling very much on top of things. For Leo, we have the Daughter of Grails reverse. So Leo, you might be feeling extra sensitive this week. Um, you might take things personally that perhaps you shouldn't um, and withdraw a little bit. It's saying it's okay to take some time for ourselves, but just remember that not everything is personal um, and that if people are being hurtful, it is more about them than it is about you. So be protective of yourself, but don't, don't get weighed down by other people's um, issues. Right. Okay, so Virgo, we have the Five of Grails reverse. So Virgo's this week, you're really going to feel like you are kind of getting your mojo back, feeling uh, if you've been feeling let down or disappointed or drained at all the past little while, you'll start to feel like you're recovering and that, um, you know, you're kind of getting your energy back and feeling like you kind of know where you're going again. It also says, too, that you might want to take a chance on either a friendship or a relationship that just because things didn't work out before doesn't mean that that's going to get repeated again. So it's saying to take a chance with people as well. For Libra, we have the Tower. Now, um, this obviously means that for Libras, big shakeup coming. Um, it means that things are definitely going to change, but it's not necessarily negative. I wouldn't say it necessarily means a negative thing. It could be a really positive big change. It just says that big changes are on the horizon. It also says, too, that if you've been feeling really stuck, this is a time to shake things up. This is a time to start something new, to change things. This is an opportunity to really change some things that are going on in your life. Scorpio. We got the five of scepters reversed. So we are in a new a Scorpio new moon uh, this week. So on Sunday today there is a new moon. Uh, it's in Scorpio and it's saying that um, Scorpio may be feeling very intense this week. Um, and to not get into arguments or debates with people um, for no reason. Certainly, you know, sometimes we do have to confront people and that can be challenging, but also have benefits ultimately down the road. Um, sometimes we do need to say things, but saying don't get into things just for the sake of fighting. Um, very important because they'll just kind of generate more negativity around. For Sagittarius, we have the Three of Grails. 
Sagittarius, this is going to be a week where you are feeling like you want to party, you want to go out, you want to celebrate, you want to be around people. It's a great time for all those things. Definitely get out there, enjoy yourself, um, have a really good time, and especially with the friends that uh, maybe you haven't seen for a while. For Capricorn, we have the Seven of Grails. So Capricorn, you might be feeling like you um, you don't know where to put your energy. There's It feels like there's all these possibilities around you, but you're not sure which one it is that you want to pick. And so it's saying don't be uh, fooled by appearances. Go with what you you think in your heart, go with your gut, and also listen to your dreams as well. Your dreams are going to be very strong this week. All right, and then um, Aquarius, we have the priestess reversed. So Aquarius, this is a time where you may feel like you are holding in some things, or that you are afraid to express your spiritual side, or you don't want to express that to others, or you may feel like there's things, there's um, you know, feelings or secrets or things that you can't express to others. And it's saying that, um, you know, you may have a difficult time with expressing those things. And so it's really important to find somebody where you can express those things with. Um, because if we repress those things, if we repress our feelings, if we repress our intuition, it can come out in other ways. And so it's saying it's important to express that. Otherwise, um, it, you know, it could come out in things like, you know, being irritable with people when we don't mean to be or, um, you know, even just with bad nightmares, things like that. So we need to make sure we're expressing this side of ourselves. And Pisces, we have the Nine of Scepters reversed. So Pisces, this is a time to take a break. You may be feeling like you are just kind of at the end of your rope, that you've just been working and working, and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. And it might even be a time to reconsider some of the projects we've been working on to see if they really are worth our time and effort. Uh, we may decide that it is and we want to keep going and we might decide that we need to change our strategies or that we may need to drop things completely. But definitely this is a week to reconsider things. And then overall underneath we have the world. So this week shows um, that it's going to be a lot of changes, big step forward for a lot of people. Things are changing. We're moving into, you know, Scorpio new moon. Um, and so it's definitely a time where, um, you know, we need to kind of reassess things and see if we're moving, you know, moving forward in ways that we want to. This is going to be a challenging week for some people, for some signs. And for other signs, it's going to be a great week. You know, Gemini and Sagittarius definitely it's going to be a great week. I think other other signs, it, it definitely feels like we, um, or I think it was Cancer and Sagittarius, sorry. That's going to be one where we're reassessing and really looking at things and uh, seeing where we want to go. And I mean, it is Samhain tomorrow, Halloween, uh, which is, you know, sometimes considered the witch's new year. So it's a good time to just sit back and reassess things. So that's what I see for this week. Um, if anyone uh, sees anything else or has any questions, please put in the comments below, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.